Greetings, 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 ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Uh, this is C Chips YT, um, and I wanted to make a video today, so I thought, hey, let's uh, do a train simulator video because um, I don't know. I I just thought I'd do it because why not? You know, uh, it seems popular with most people. Um, I really shouldn't have loaded this up before I press start, but um, we're just going to see what happens. <sighs> yes, top of the line. That's exactly what the guy at Nebraska Furniture Mart said to me. Oh, it's top of the line. It'll, you'll, you can game at soaring speeds. <laughs> it struggles to open up when Ender, Internet Explorer sometimes, so... Um, you know, half of me is like, oh, well, it's Internet Explorer, you know. But the other half of me is like, oh my god, it's struggling to handle Internet Explorer. But we'll see if it actually loads this time. Um, usually it does, um, but I have the feeling since I'm recording, it's probably not going to. Or it's going to attack um, OBS. Uh, which I need to... Uh, and I just took a screenshot. I need... I assume I'm still recording. Um, anyway, I don't know how to build yet, and I can't really get the assets, so I thought uh, we would do a career mission. Uh, oh, spring break. Uh, no. <laughs> um, uh, God, there was one in here that... There it is. Changing switches. I don't remember that. Was I don't... I don't remember that. Um, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I am... I don't know if you can tell, but I actually had zero planning for today, but... Um, are there anyone's here? <laughs> Big Bay Boom. Uh, brah. Wow. Uh, standard. What about standards? Uh, fruit of the money. Fruit of the money. Uh, oh. Um, I am really piddling around now, and I am so sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Um, what if we did a free roam? Not on the academy map, though. <laughs> Oh, really? I can't choose that one. Uh, I guess that's alright. Donner... Oh, God, I always... I'll do Donner Pass. That's a pretty nice map. Donner Summit. Uh, I, don't, I actually kind of want to start stop at the art. Can I change the engine that I'm in, though? Ooh, warp on it. Um, so, God willing, it will let me... Uh, And it won't let me. Okay. Uh, so, I might have to choose a different thing here. Quick drive. That's what I wanted. Uh, Alright, so we are going to choose the Castle Rock Railroad. I'm going to set it from Castle Rock Platform to Monument 1 shouldn't be too long uh, and the train we are going to be taking a look at today is going to be oh wait I have a custom I have to set up we have uh, daylight yes daylight the steam train uh, and we will go ahead and click start um, but a little bit of um, information the name of the train is daylight she is a oil-burning steam train. Most of them run on coal, but she is one of the few that runs on oil. And she is actually a high, also a hybrid steam train. So it is part. She's part electric. Well, she's part diesel and she's part steam train, which I'll get into a little bit when we uh, load in. Um, they still do excursions with her, but um, for the most part. 
it's kind of like most steam trains, you know? It's just like, you really don't see them that much. I'm hoping to god daylight is not going to be so loud that you can't hear me, but... Obviously, this is a modded engine. But, um, so, first thing is, like I said, she was a hybrid engine, and she runs on oil. Now, on a normal steam train, if you look back here, this would all be open. And you would be able to see into the, uh, tender, which is, uh, not that car. This car right here. Now, this is full of, uh, oil and water. Normally, it would be coal and water, and this little car right here would be back open. Now, what I was talking about with Daylight being a hybrid, she has her... Either this or one of these is her whistle. But then, you'll notice this right here. She also has a horn. So she's part diesel and part steam train. I'm not actually sure if these are her coaches, but they're Southern Pacific, and I know Daylight belongs to the Southern Pacific Railway, so I decided to choose them. Uh, you're going to notice this down here. This is the PSI. Um, if you remember from chemistry class, um, too much PSI and problems happen. So basically, every time we have a red PSI, she is going to burn uh, less clean, and her smoke will be more black as a result. If she has a clean, if she has a good PSI, she'll have a clean uh, burn. So her smoke will be white. Um, now, in real life, since Daylight is a oil-burning steam engine, she's always going to have black smoke, because she's burning oil. Um, and another funny thing about her is, she, you notice she has two headlights um, on her boiler right here. This one is the normal one. But this one, in real life, for whatever reason, this one will spin around in a circle. Like, you you can look it up on YouTube sometimes. Just search up Daylight at Night, and this, or just search up Daylight Excursion, and if you pay attention, this lamp will spin around in a circle. It's quite funny. Um, the, there are more headlights right here. Little wind deflectors to kind of keep smoke from that. Um, this is the boiler. You know, so basically what she does is she creates steam, and the steam gets funneled down to the piston, and that makes the wheels turn, and the piston turns the wheels. Um, now, like I said, her headlight works differently in the game, but this is what it looks like in game. In real life, this one would be moving. Her number is 4449. Uh, you can see it's uh, like daylight in here. This is honestly a very good model. Uh, I've seen a couple uh, archive footage of daylight, and it's pretty close. Now, with this, this is the cow catcher. I don't know if she's a streamlined train. She looks like it, and she might be. Um, so let me get my map up. Uh, okay, so we've got like 23 mile drive. Are there any... I don't think there's any other, like, trains on this map that'll move by me. But, um... We have a bell. And the bell is electric because she's part diesel. She's also got a whistle, like I was saying before, which is right here. But if we go into the inside camera... We've got our uh, train brake, we've got the uh, locomotive brake, we have our uh, cutoff levers, yeah that's the cutoff lever, we've got yeah, the cutoff levers, and we have the throttle, uh, cylinder cocks, um, what else, it's around here somewhere, we've got the sander, and then we also have this, a Leslie A200 horn. So, she has the sword for the steam. And the horn. Um, this is uh, the firebox over here. And you can see it's kind of like a fire in there. 
I don't, I've never seen the inside of daylight, so I don't know if she actually has a firebox. I would assume she has a boiler, but, uh, got a fuel lever, uh, feed water pump. So yeah, this is looking pretty legit. There's the bell. Uh, so yeah, why don't we, oh yeah, I forgot. Can the window open on this one? Yeah, it can. So basically, with driving a steam, with driving, the difference between driving a steam train and driving a diesel is with a diesel, the cab is up on the front of the train. On a steam train, you have the huge boiler in the way. The cab is on the back. So you've got these small windows, but this is your view. So basically, the way they drive these is you would stick your head out the windows, and this would be your view in front of you. Or if you were the, uh, on the other side, this would be your view. So it's kind of up to both of the uh, drivers to signal if they can see something. Um, let's, oh yeah, I forgot we're in the station. Uh, I don't really want to signal, let's go backwards. I think that's pretty much all the exposition I have to get out of the way. And we have refueled on water and uh, even though we've re refueled on coal, so we are going to go into the inside. I gotta find the... Uh, is this the train? I think this is the train brake. Oh, I turned it. So we turned the brake up. We will take the throttle up just to we'll take the throttle up oh wait I'm doing this wrong I forgot I have to find the reverser where is the reverser uh, what is this no that's the throttle where is the reverser might be on the other side there's a nice little southern Pacific uh, lines uh, maybe it's over here uh, that's fuel lever I'll find it eventually. Uh, nope. Hang on, where is the frickin' reverser? I was about to say, this is a perfect uh, recreation, and I can't find the reverser. No, that's the sander. No, that's the locomotive brake. our speedometer. Okay, well, I can't find it, so I'm just going to use my uh, little thing right here, and I'm going to... So the max she can go at is a 75% reverse. Now, diesels can go up to 100% reverser. And basically, the reverser is just the uh, shifter for a train. Uh, but we will take the throttle up to a uh, 15%. And like usual, when tra steam trains leave a station, they will turn their bell on. And another 90 PSR right here. Um, I'm going I'm gonna wait till the bell's done here before I say anything else. Uh, but I'm going to turn on the blower, um, kind of get a better PSI going. Now, ordinarily in real life, around this area there would be a ton of smoke coming out because we just took off. That's just how steam engines are. They literally just puff steam everywhere. And I don't know if you can tell, but Train Simulator was obviously made to make the trains look good, as the environment is looking pretty lackluster. <laughs> but we are moving now. Um, let me head to the back car here so it's not as loud. We'll turn the blower off. But we are on a move now, and we're taking a switch. Uh, but we have a maximum speed limit of 45 right now, and at some point we're going to increase to 60. Uh, I think we can go in the coaches. Yeah, we can go inside the coaches. Get further away from the steam trains. We're in the rear car now. Honestly, not the best interior I've seen. I don't even know what the uh, chairs are standing on, but it is whatever. Um, 
Now, another, this is a cool view, I've never known this. Another thing about steam trains that is different from diesels is steam trains are a lot heavier. And they're older technology, so as a result, the brakes aren't as good as a diesel. So with a steam train, you have to brake even sooner than a diesel would. And you know how they're always talking about, like, you know, who's going to win between a tra train and a car. So, um, I think I got a different camera here. We are losing speed, so I'm going to set this throttle up. I think I am doing this wrong. I'm supposed to do this, I, if I remember correctly. Oh, God, that looks amazing. That might be a thumbnail if I can figure out how to do it correctly. God. That is my favorite function in the game, the drive-by camera, because not only does it give you that awesome angle, but, like, you can hear the sound and how it changes depending on where the engine is. It's a little bit easier to hear it uh, when you are, uh, you know, at a higher speed, but it's still so cool. Uh, I think I need to put the reverser down. Yeah, let's put it at 45. And then we'll take the throttle up to 50. And you'll notice that now the puffing is getting louder. And like I said, she's an old Oregon train, so black smoke is pretty much all she's going to be doing. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I don't want to upload like, a super huge ass video. But like I said, uh, you were going to be moving. This is your view, so you'd be doing this. Uh, I just love watching these pistons turn. Uh, not sure what's, what's going on with the PSI there, but uh, goddamn daylight! You are loud as hell, Jesus. Now we're picking up some speed. And we're going to get another increase to 65 miles per hour here in a second. There we go. Now we're getting some movement. And now you can hear the puffing is becoming more quick. Oh, there it is. There's that amazing view. God, it sounds so... It sounds so good. And then, uh, where is it? It's where I'm losing it. Uh, now... Something else that comes in the daylight, uh, thing that I installed. There are also, uh... Custom paint jobs for daylight. So, um, daylight has a uh, wartime paint scheme, which is basically just the standard engine of black. And she also has um, a second name. She is also the Freedom Train, which basically gives her a patriotic paint job. It looks pretty nice, but I decided to go with Daylight because I don't, I've don't. i never actually seen the Freedom Train before, and I wonder if it even actually exists. Smoke's kind of glitching out there a bit. Oh god, Jesus. And I think we just ran, ran a red light, possibly, but I don't really care. What is that noise? I don't know what that is, but okay. Um, let's get a free camera here. Wow, the sound distortion. <laughs> um, dynamic ranges. But um, I love this game for the scaling, so we're probably about this height. So, or right here. So imagine this coming by you. Um, oh, that is so cool. 
the daylight isn't necessarily the biggest of the steam locomotives because America, when they were making steam trains, I always like to compare and make, say that America had the muscle car of steam trains. We built huge, tough, strong steam trains that were designed more for pulling large loads rather than pulling passengers. Oh look, there's a guy in there. That's interesting. Um, we are actually losing speed again. There we go. So we've got about 19 miles to London and Yard 1. Now if I was using one of the um, unmodded maps, then um, we would have uh, other trains coming by. And um, I was a little bit late with the whistle there. But um, the way the whistle works is I think it's two long whistles and one short, if I remember correctly. And they have to do that at every single um, round of crossing that they do. And that's all types of trains. Now, um, most of the time, if you would see a uh, passenger train, they usually have a special designed car to put on the rear that's kind of like a uh, cone shape at the back. Uh, unfortunately, the pack that I got these cars in does not have it, so I didn't add it. Uh, I don't know why I didn't add a dome car, but there was probably a reason. Uh, but... Dang it, I... That's so weird. Why do I keep having red lights? Now, this is a free room, and there's no other trains on the road. So if I was on any other map, um, I would obviously want to stop and wait for the uh, signal to change. Um, because trains follow the same rules as uh, cars do. You know, red is, you know, stop. Yellow is... Yellow is a bit different. Yellow is just proceed with caution. And, you know, you can either go or stop. It's not necessarily a yield, it's just more of a, hey, proceed with caution, if something happens, you're responsible. Um, and green, obviously, let's go. Uh, we are about to hit an uphill. Wow, this, uh, 10 out of 10, like, game design, Jesus, like, look at those mountain textures, oh my god, man. It's like gum. Are there no cars? I guess there's just not gonna be any car. What? Uh, seems like a weird bridge. I don't know what. Also, there's people in the passenger cars, but I know if I go into the uh, first person camera, they're not gonna be there. So I guess I got enough momentum because for the first time in this game, I'm actually accelerating uphill and increasing the speed. Usually, I basically screwed up somehow and um, managed to um, I somehow managed to uh, lose my momentum and basically get stuck on the hill this is a really terrible interior as far as I know I can't switch like the seats like I can in the uh, engine on that blower. That that name is so funny. Maybe it's just because I'm a dude, but just blower. Um, I am getting better at driving steam trains. I used to just basically keep the reverser up all the way. And you could do that, but you're going to lose a lot of resources and uh, PSI very quickly that way. When we start to hit the downhill, I'm going to switch out of the, the uh, I might switch over to the train camera here in a bit, just because this has been pretty uneventful. I hope my the game audio isn't too overbearing, that you can't hear my voice 
I can always try and clean that up, I guess. But... Or, you know, I can just re... or make a new video. Uh... 15 miles. We're actually got quite a decent speed. 55. For a steam train, to get anywhere to a speed of close to 70 is very good. Especially American trains. You go over to Britain, they've got steam trains that, like, go fucking 118 miles per hour. But they're all, like, streamlined, and they were built more for passenger roll. Not freight. Sorry about the, uh, lack of interesting commentary, but I love trains, but at the same time, like, there's not much I can really say right now. Um... It's kind of weird that... It, that's really weird that I can see the, uh, headlights on so well in the middle of the day. Which I assume there's a sun in this game somewhere. Got little covers on the windows. It's funny. Let's go back onto the inside view. Now, in real life, I'm not so. I'm not. I'm pretty sure the cab doesn't bounce around this much. Uh, close. Uh, how do I close you? Can I not close you from the inside? Or do I have to be over here to do that? I guess I can't close you. And oh shit, we are speeding. Oh, let's just shut that. Oh, it's... I forgot it's controlled by a lever on this train. Oh, shit. We just ran through a siding without whistling. And we are still picking up speed. And... We might be coming up on the station here, so I might want to let off that and put the brakes on... to god there's a station here. Because I feel like I... Oh shit, we are speeding again. So, ordinarily, uh, you obviously wouldn't want to brake that hard. That's pretty damaging to the engine. Uh, what is this name? Larkspur? But you'll notice it says, like, uh, Larkspur North 2, Larkspur, Larkspur through 1, Larkspur South 1. That is basically saying this is North Track 2, this is South Track 1, this is Through Track 1. I think this might actually be the smoothest um, stop I have ever had in this game. Uh, can I fuck with the switch? I cannot fuck with the switch. And I thinking it's... Oh, no, it is going to go over here. Okay. I don't know if it's actually going to make me switch here, though. Oh, it is. Alright. Uh, now, ordinarily, when trains come in to a station, they're much slower than this, and they will have the bell on. Basically, their goal is to get the passenger cars lined up with the platform. Apply those brakes. Can I get the... Eh, it doesn't really matter if I get the last car. Oh, shit. I actually didn't screech the brakes. That wasn't too bad. That was probably the best stop I have ever had in this game. I do not know what is going on with my minimap. Uh, let it whistle off. Um, and now we can let some passengers... I love how um, in the game mode where I'm not supposed to stop, I can actually pull, pull off a pretty good break. It's a weird little coupler there. <laughs> uh... Yeah, these cars really don't have good detailing. 
All right, we have picked up some people and we are ready to go. Pressure is good. Let off a whistle and a horn. And we will go into the first person cam to take off this time. We're gonna give, we're just gonna give her a nice 45%. Another difference between uh, diesels and steam trains is diesels can take off much quicker than a steam train can. Um, mainly because, again, their weight. Steam trains are actually so heavy that if they take off too fast, they're, they will actually slide. Um, which is another reason they don't do well at braking, because it's steel on steel here. And these are not air brakes. These are pressurized brakes. That's interesting that it made me did that. That's so weird. I don't think it's ever done that when I played this bit. Now, obviously, I didn't use the bell that time, but honestly, the bell is loud and annoying, so I didn't really feel like it. Let's get her up to a 49% throttle. But this is what I'm talking about when I say uh, diesels have a much quicker takeoff speed. It might have actually been a bad choice to stop at that station because I just remember we have a uphill that we're going to have to fight through now. And if my eyes are not lying to me, we are struggling to accelerate at the minute. God, this is such a cool camera angle. I love it. Turn on that blower. Give me some better PSI. Damn, that is so interesting. I should probably explain the uh, point of the blower. Basically, the blower is to get ash and stuff out of here, out of the boiler best of its ability. Alright, let's do this one long one. Two long ones. And then a short one. Hey, I did it. I don't know what these are. I'm just going to be completely honest. I enjoy trains and I'm knowledgeable about trains, but honestly, I don't really know like the inner workings of a steam train to an extent. So anyway, we got 11 miles, and I did not mean to uh, hit the mic there. I apologize for that. Um, I love how they have holes in the wheels. That's just nice. God damn, look at this, like, uh, tender. It's, like, as tall as the passenger car is. Like, we can, we can sort a ton of gallons of water. And I'm not sure how much coal or oil daylight can actually hold, but I assume it would be quite a lot, because, like, look at that. We get a uh, increase to uh, 55 miles per hour here. And we are actually struggling to go up this incline. Let me look at my map. So we're here. We need to get to here. I know it looks long, but this map lies, trust me. Now, back when steam trains were um, first being introduced to the world, along their routes at stations, they would have giant water towers that were over the track. And this was basically so the engine could refuel, because if the train is out of water or coal, it cannot produce um, steam to move the piston. So basically, you know, 
it's the opposite of Kong, where it really doesn't need a battery, because there, as far as I know, there's not... I, I'm sure there's a law that says they, you know, have to have their headlights working, but back when... But, um... I mean, honestly, it's more important for them to have um, coal and water than it is to have a uh, freaking uh, battery working. And besides, like, if you seriously can't hear a train coming, you know, you might want to get that checked out. Um, got little mile marker signs. Actually, no, those are speed increase signs. I always get those mixed up. Um, going over another trestle or bridge here. This game is, honestly, to like most people, this game is probably, you know, cringy, stupid, or, you know, freaking, you know, not really interesting. But, I would love to fire up a steam train. It's one of my very few things that I would actually probably show an emotion for. But... I doubt that's ever going to happen. Um, so, I'm running out of stuff to talk about, but um, I heard that the Union Pacific uh, Big Boy, um, they finished restoring it, and now they just need to put her back together again. So, hopefully she'll be back onto the main line around Horseshoe Curve any day now. I can't believe they found her in a park in Las Vegas. You know, that just seems weird that she got abandoned in, in Las Vegas. Like, such an odd spot. But it's whatever. Um, what is that on her? Locomotive Works. Okay, so that's the company. Loaned by the people of Portland, Oregon, to the American Freedom Train. 1975, 1976. Okay, so maybe that's why I don't see the Freedom Train. Because if I read that right, that means that the Freedom Train was around for one year. <laughs> I've seen Jeeps with a longer lifespan. <laughs> oh, God. So we're starting to pick up speed again. And also, we're doing it uphill again. I have never had this much luck driving steam trains uphill. Diesels, I can do fine. Because with diesels, I don't have to worry about their PSI. I can just fucking throw their throttle all the way up, throw the reverser up, throw the brake down, and just be like, all right, drive yourself. This thing, I have to watch it. So just uh, nine miles um, to go here. Should be hitting it downhill any minute. And basically, what I'm going to do is put the throttle down to 13% and put the brakes on. And hope that I don't brake with her too hard, but that I keep her moving. That's kind of the hardest part of driving a truck, is finding the balance of brake and braking and um, throttling up or downhill. Too much, and you've got a 32-ton, um, essentially a 32-ton missile flying down the tracks that could rip off uh, on any curve. Not enough, you'll burn through your PSI, um, or damage your motor, and you'll be stuck on the hill. You'll be at the mercy of the downhill. Uh, and if you don't get what I mean, if you ever have free time, look up a movie called Unstoppable, and you will know what I'm talking about. I'm just having a little bit of fun with the uh, whistle here. There's not a lot of cars on this map, I never really noticed that. I've played with this map a ton of times. I really love using this map with the steam trains because it, it just feels easier to use the steam trains on this map because it's not as long a distance. It, 
my experience in the past with this game, this game has made steam trains not very um, long distance. Hey, look at Diner. <laughs> it's the Diner Diner. Steak, seafood, spirits. Seafood. I I'm sorry, but this does not look like the area seafood would be in. I don't see any ocean. Oh, there it goes. Wow, listen to that sound distortion. And it's completely gone now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, Jesus. Daylight come in there hard enough? Like, goddamn. I like how she's got little stars on the wheel. It's a little detailing like that that makes steam trains cool. Because you see diesels... And they're just kind of there. They're just like, hi, I'm here to, you know, do the dirty work. I don't really care what I look like. Essentially like the brute. But there are certain diesels that were made more for, um, their style and looks instead of their actual freight pulling capacity. I don't even know what the hell that is over there. Oh, that's a baseball field. Is it? Hang on, what? Because it, it, it's weird. It looks like it's got those, like, uh, lamp poles you would see at a baseball field, but I don't see a bit. I have never seen lights like this for a parking lot of a warehouse complex. That sound distortion's a bit weird. Now, in real life... You can probably hear a st if you're in, if you're um, in a flat open area, you can probably hear a steam train from about I'd say uh, 50 miles away, uh, more like uh, 35 miles away. If you're in a mountain area, mountainous area, you can probably hear them coming from 50 miles away. They my favorite place to listen to steam whistles is in the mountains because it sounds so I, I, just, I don't really know how to describe how it sounds anyway let's uh, catch up with daylight prepare for noise I don't know why you're still whistling I wasn't even touching the space bar but okay um, oh I can open up the window that's cool I like that. I don't think the trains in the standard game you can do that. Um... What was this again? Oh yeah, the locomotive brake. Where's the independent brake? That's what I want to know. Independent. Where's that independent brake? Well, hit that independent! I'm not sure what these are. They're cylinders or something. little hatch up there. I'm not really sure what it's for. Maybe this train doesn't have an independent. I never really thought of it. Or maybe that's what the cutoff... That's probably what the cutoff lever is. Some weird texturing going on there with the fence. Okay, so we got five minutes. So God, I know I keep saying that, but that just looks so cool. Alright, another... What is that, frickin' military fort over there? Like, a training academy or something? Like, that's what it looks like. I mean, seriously, look at these, like, lights. They look like the lights you find at a frickin' um, insurrectionist camp. Like, Jesus. I don't really remember where I am right now. Oh, we're being decreased to a top speed of 45, but the good news is the hill's slowing us down anyway. Apparently we switched tracks because now we're on Glen Park Northwood. If I look at the map, I think that's what we're on. Or, well, that's what it said it was. Uh, Portal. I don't actually know what a portal is yet. I have I need to look it up sometime. But I'm not actually sure what it is. Can we get that Ah, oh, we can't because the freaking uh, streamline is in the way.
they've got a coupler cam. I have never actually used this. That is quite the camera. Um, cut the line. I can't actually cut the line. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a handbrake. And we're speeding now, somehow. So I'm gonna ease off the throttle a bit. And I ease off the throttle and we gain speed. Oh, because we're about to freaking hit a downhill. Now, there's some penalty in real life for speeding with a train. But I mean, it's not like the cops are going to come after you unless you're just being like a suicidal level of, of dangerous. We're going to put her down to 10% throttle. And you notice the smoke isn't coming out as intensely anymore. We can turn those off. Uh, we just went through a switch. I'm going to wait until this number starts to increase before I put the brake on. And mainly until we're hitting the downhill. I think I actually remember where I am now. Yeah, we're almost there. Daylight really is a cool train, though. I hope I get to see her in real life at some point. Uh... Maybe eat a tour or something, I don't know. Look at that. God, that would be a perfect screenshot right there. That would be a perfect thumbnail. That looks amazing. The way it turns. I don't know why, but I got a serious Harry Potter vibe on this turn for some reason. Okay, so we are... Oh, and we have a yellow light on the other track. Let's have the... Okay, we're going to have to have the brakes more. We are actually coming in here quite fast. Apply the brakes. Lower throttle. throttle. Might have to apply more breakage. And uh, looks like she's going to kind of go down. Might get worse as the severity of the uh, slope happens, though. Uh, it looks like she's coming to a stump pretty aggressively. <laughs> Got two miles. I think I get. I think it's around that. What is that? A farm? I think it's around. We'll call it a farm. I sh might have to let off the brakes a bit for a second here. This is the sign. But those are the mile marker signs. Three. Wow, we are picking up speed again. I should pay attention. Uh, sorry about the uh, lateness of the upload. I know. Uh, but my uncle's going into kidney surgery tomorrow, so I thought I'd drop by and tell him, you know, if he needs anything, call me, you know, just wish him luck. I don't know him, like, I know him, but I, I know him well, but at the same time, I don't, you know, but I'm still gonna go, you know, care for him. Um, might actually be breaking too hard here, but I don't know. And I think we're breaking too hard, too much now. Let's put the brakes on self-lapped for a second. Put the uh, accelerator up to 23. We might actually have braked too hard that time. Nope, oh, there we go. Put the brakes on 10. And we are rapidly approaching 40 miles per hour again. Um, wow, we are really taking off again. The mile marker, yeah, too. I don't actually know what this map is supposed to be uh, 
based off of. I think it's Castle Rock, but I don't know where that is, what that even is. But I would assume it's probably a famous train route, considering it's in this game. Uh, oh, and you're probably wondering what... Well, you're probably not wondering, but I'm going to explain anyway. What these are... I don't know what that is. I think, I, I think that's a reset button if you fly off the tracks for game purposes. This one, these two, are the call ahead buttons. So basically, if you've been sitting at a... Uh, oh, we got a yellow light here. If you've been sitting at a signal light for a long period of time, you can go ahead, or you're, like, running late, you can go ahead and call ahead of the line and to see if you can keep going. Um... Uh, but you do it at your own risk, and if anything happens, you are responsible. And we're speeding again. Uh, come on, honey, break. Oh, baby, she's not breaking. Holy shit, she's not breaking. So we might... I'm actually going to turn the throttle off now. Don't really need her. I might have broke just a bit too hard there. Kind of just let momentum push us forward a bit. Uh, I'm not actually sure what switch I am taking. I think I'm actually nailing the speed pretty well right now. Might be coming onto the switch a bit quickly, but, um... Okay, so now we need to put the throttle up a bit. Uh, I meant a lot to keep this going. I don't know what the hell I just heard, but it was something. I am coming into this uh, station entirely too fast. Call ahead. Uh, request to pass at danger denied. Okay. This is a really weird place for a station. Um, stop. Please. Okay, holy shit, honey, stop. Oh my god, we are going. I'm applying emergency brake. So you heard that kind of, like, heavy puffing? Um, that basically is the train's way of telling me that I hit the brakes way too hard. I'm gonna kind of back up here a bit. Or at least see if I can before it kicks me out. Um... And look at that. And I hit the emergency brake. God damn it. Uh, eject. And I can't... Okay. I can't... I... There we go. Well, uh, and we can look at this. We stopped at 1 out of 1 destinations. Uh, added slash removed 0 out of 0 rail vehicles. Okay... Picked up passengers at zero to zero platforms. So I stopped at the destination, hit the unload button, somehow picked up no one. Uh, we weren't pulling any freight, and I wasn't near any refueling. Um, something that's nice about this game is it tells you what you did wrong. So, like I said before, um, we went through a red signal, so I signal passed at danger. Um, which they have an acronym for, which is SPAD, once. We were caught speeding six times, and the passenger slash freight comfort level exceeded 0.002% of the time. So, 
I think that means their comfort was low. We traveled 23 miles or 37 kilometers, and we got a little bit of experience. Anyway, that was Train Simulator um, with Daylight. Um, let me know if you want me to do another video. I've I can take a look here at some of the other trains I've got, but um, I've got a lot of other steam trains. I got a couple British steam trains here. Um, got a old Baldwin DL1G. Um, that would be like your basic Wild uh, Wild West um, steam train. Um, or we've also got um, this is just daylight, but in a different skin. We got uh, a couple NKPs. Um, Berkshires. Um, I have a couple LNER, which is um, the British Railway. Um, the Flying Scotsman might be a good video. We have this thing, which I don't know what the name of it is, but it is definitely weird. I think it might be an Indian steam train, but then of course we have the Union Pacific Big Boy and her sister, the Union Pacific Challenger. But let me know if you want to see a uh, another train simulator video on just a random topic, um, or I could get started on another series, which is probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll, I can either get started on another game series, or um, I don't know. Maybe on the weekend I'll uh, call up some friends and we'll go off roading in my jeep or something. Anyway. Um, Thank you for coming to see this video. Please remember to like, share, turn on that notification bell, comment, and subscribe. Or if you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Um, this is the Kansas Gamer. Or f what the fuck did... What, okay, I don't know what the file I just said there. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, bye -zy bye -zy.